Hey, uh, so my name is Robert Mitten, and if you've been looking at my previous videos, um, you would have seen a lot of the work which I've been doing around building a community in a business. You know, this has come from the four foundations, um, which are social capital, motivation, it comes from creative thinking, and having that co-learning, that collaborative learning way of working. Now, the reason why I've not been very busy here on YouTube recently is because I've been putting together my own e-learning platform. Quite an interesting step to take, really, when you think about it. Um, the process of building the platform was obviously going to have a lot of time and energy built on the content of it. However, as we were building it and developing it, some of the key areas which I wanted to really combine and get into the website were specifically based around those community values which I've mentioned on my YouTube videos and on my book. Now, building a community is great because we all know good things come from a community. However, building it on an e-learning platform was a big thing for me because I'm quite big and interested in the power of collaborative learning or co-learning. You know, when people put their time and efforts together to have strong background in skills, then people learn from each other just as much as they do, or if not even more than they do, than the initial content. Now, I think when building an online platform, you have to now think about this because we think and, and look at things in a different way. I was always quite conscious when I was building the platform on how long a specific video was going to be or how long the presentation was or what's it going to look like visually. How are we going to test or gamify the certain areas within the online platform? But when you look at this and when I decided to put the platform together, I realised that the content was pretty much going to be maybe about a quarter or one third of what the overall vision of the, the site in which I was trying to develop was going to be. And the collaborative learning and for me, putting a timeline on the wall in which people can share ideas and their test scores or they can share an achievement or something along those lines was really big because what you start to get, and as we've had our few testing um, founding members come through on the website, people start to ask each other questions. They're like, hey, you know, how did you get on this specific piece of strategy? Or how did you find the innovation one? Or, you know, what are your thoughts on this? Well, I agree with the course. However, my view of it is dot, 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 dot. And wow, that's just making the whole learning experience better. You know, when I was down at BET in the show in London back last month in January, even though the focus is on a lot of technology in education, which is still really important and something which still grabs my attention, you know, the likes of VR, AR, AI, some of the key messages that were still coming across was how do we get collaborative learning more engaged in, in the way we work and we do things? And there was a lot of sort of seminars on that. I mean, I knew that already. You know, when I go back to what I wrote about in my book, I specifically use collaborative learning or co-learning as one of the foundation blocks of building a community because it tied into the next foundation block, which was social capital. Because when people start to share their ideas and their visions and put their way forward, yeah, they feel more empowered. But on top of that, um, trust is formed, social capital is formed, and that's the value of education. Because once the trust, the social capital is formed, um, you get this amazing message of high community, but people start to then co-collaborate. Now, in a school or a, a learning development department, that is equally as strong because if we trace it all the way back to say primary school levels, well, then people are gonna to start to build up these social skills, which, which you want in the modern world. Unfortunately, you know, we're losing some of that in many different areas. So the co-learning brings up the social skills, right? Um, in a workplace, in a learning and development department, this is where the magic starts to happen because this is where people build up the social skills, that's right, but then they start to co-collaborate, work on new ideas and new products. It's almost like you're hitting them with that 
new wave of intrinsic motivation, that desire for them to move projects more forward. And I think that's the power of co-working, co-learning, co-living, whichever you want to call it. But if I focus just on, on that co-learning element of my learning platform, you know, we start to see the, the, the interactions happen. But what I'm really hoping is, you know, from that we start to get people really having value, specifically because we're going to have people from the same company on the site, but maybe in a different office, you know, different part of the country or a different part of the world. Maybe they've never met these people before, but they work for the same company. Now they're introduced on a learning site and they're sharing their ideas with each other then it's almost like the value is going to the company because they might create something or they just might be a little bit more intrinsically rewarded, motivated. And there's some key things which I think a lot of companies are missing out on. And I think when we designed the website, because we designed it for people who were going on the website on an individual basis, we also built the platform in the format that we were getting people on board from companies. I mean, and that's the great thing. And I think having that feature within there and being able to have the interactions was great. Um, some of the key things that I pointed out when building it was, you know, we don't just want them to happen for any old reason. So, you know, we're building up these interactions through, not just on the timeline, which is like Facebook, it's always ongoing. There's always a nice mixture, a nice element of um, the weekly guru sessions, the group coaching, or the monthly masterminds where people are chipping in their ideas. I don't want the ideas to always come from the coach or the leader of a, of a live Google Hangouts or something along those lines. So the social element to learning and development is great. Now, interestingly, I, I generally think this is a thing that a lot of companies uh, miss out on when they're doing a lot of learning, training and development. I think companies need to be more involved with the collaborative learning experiences, specifically in skill swaps or just on online platforms, um, which is going to become more and more needed in the future, specifically when we look at the future of work and well, what is the future of work? Well. Anyone could say their own future of work. However, I specifically feel the future of work is going to be geared up to more remote working, more project working. If you were to model this on Charles Handy's um, cultural gods of management model, I would say we're going to be looking more at task-based culture where people don't always work in a linear line or on the same project. They work from various different tasks that are constantly ongoing. And well, that's where I started to look at the design of the site and how we were going to bring in these interactive features alongside the content which we are producing. I think, you know, when we look back at it, the whole design and, and how we've gone about this learning platform has been a learning step for me. What's been great for me is that we've implemented a lot of the community building processes from my own theories from the book into the actual site. I mean, I've worked with companies one-to-one -one on how to build a more community-based culture. However, now putting this into my own learning platform and creating the community not from the HR angle, but from, say, the marketing angle now and building a user base up um, is another really interesting step. And, and when I originally wrote the book, it wasn't a step that I thought I was going to take. I always thought the community was the HR angle, which it still is, and my theories do apply. However, you can apply my community circle model to this online platform as a way to get users on board, to keep the community going, which then brings further, say, revenue to the business. So, you know, interestingly to see how I've turned my own theories and models on its side or slightly diagonally to help me build the website platform. So yeah, this is kind of like what we've been doing over the last month. It's great to see brightthink.co now launching. Um, and it was interesting because, you know, like with most people, when you're moving your services from face-to-face -to, -face to online, you don't have much of a budget. So it was great how we researched a lot of plugins for WordPress. So we, we eventually chose Lifter LMS. Um, which is great for all the add-on features and various things. But it was interesting to work that from 
a collaborative experiment as well with me looking at the content um, to a colleague based over in Argentina, you know, putting the different elements of the site together. So yeah, um, do check us out. Um, and it's an interesting move on how we're changing the landscape of personal and professional development. We're making it more affordable through membership, um, really high impact micro courses, which bring out the skills and the knowledge also allow you to get accredited certificates at the end of it so it's a new way of sort of tipping the whole professional development side on its head trying to make it more affordable because um, one of the key things that we did was we wanted to make it affordable we wanted people to upskill especially in an era where we need it we need economy moving and various things like that um, with various subjects you know we've looked at everything from learning and development courses to managing a budget managing a project I've just been filming one today on strategic marketing we've looked at leadership management even down to basic things like how to do a business plan how to manage time the whole bang is on there and with regular course updated the thing that's keeping me going right now is constantly updating the content so check us out on brightthink.co